What's up everybody, Jason Vervasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create text message bubbles inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion, coming up. All right, so here we are inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, right? Let's take the B-roll clip we have right here, drag that into the timeline. Now I wanna take this clip and just shorten it up a little bit. Take the end of it here and just left click and drag in till we get to about the 10 second mark right there. And then let's take this thing, right click on it and let's make a new fusion clip right there. So we need to make a fusion composition for this text message conversation. The next thing I wanna do is come down to the fusion tab right here, left click on that. We've got the media out right here and then we've got our media in, which is our clip right there. The next thing we wanna do is start to make our text message boxes. So come up to background, take that, bring that into the workspace, take its output and drag that into the media in. There we go. Now I've got this black background, we can't see anything. We need to take that and use a rectangle mask right here, left click on that, and it immediately creates a rectangle, right? So take that, bring that down a little bit, make it a little more compact, and take its end and bring that in a little bit right here. And the next thing that I wanna do is come up to the corner radius of this box, this rectangle, and drag it to the right and make it a little more circular, just like that. Now let's move this over here to this part of the screen. And then the next thing I wanna do is take another mask by taking this one right here, this polygon, and left clicking on it while I have rectangle one selected. That creates a new mask, right? Now all I have to do is just left click right here. And now I'm gonna hold down option and left click down here left click here, left click here, and left click here to seal that polygon, that mask right there. Doesn't look like anything quite yet, right? Let's come over to background and left click on that. Come up to the color by left clicking and let's go to blue, left click on okay. And then we have our basic text message box, right? It looks decent. So if I wanna adjust that point a little bit, I just come down to polygon one and click on that. And I can take its Y position and bring that down just a little bit. If I wanna bring it more to the right, I can do that where it's at more of the edge of the box, just like that. Left click on background and it's a little bit more lined up right there. Now I wanna to start to create some text, but first let's just resize this window a little bit, come up to fit, come down to 50% so we can see this a little bit easier, okay? Now I wanna add some text to this. Come over here to the text node, bring that into the workspace take its output, drag that into the output of the background. That creates a merge that we bring over here and then take this text right here and let's start typing. And you can see our text is pretty big. We're gonna take the size of it, bring it down a little bit and then bring the text right inside of the message box right there, right? A little bubble. And then we bring that in and just change the size a little bit and we have our first text created. Left click on these nodes, just take them and drag them up like this to create some space. And what I wanna do is take a transform node right here and left click on that, bring that down into the workspace and then let go right here. And that transform is gonna allow me to just move that text message box wherever I want. I also need to animate this text message box. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna come to frame 24 right here with transform selected, come over to size, left click on that, come back two frames by left clicking the arrow key to your left twice, bring the size of this up a little bit, go back two more keyframes to your left, bring the size down, and then two more frames to the left and bring the size to zero, just like that. Come over to settings, left click there, hit motion blur, spline, select transform one, got all these keyframes, right? Left click and drag right here over the keyframes, hit F to flatten. And now if we play this back by hitting spacebar, there's our text message. Our first one is already popping up nice and easy. Now what I wanna do is take these nodes right here, left click and drag, hit Command C on a Mac to copy, and then Command V right here. Take the transform that we've created now into the merge, let go. And now you can see actually we'll have two text messages you just can't tell yet. Just take this transform and select it and bring this down. And you can see I've got a duplicate text message, right? Now, why did I do that? I wanna make this faster and easier. And if you duplicate nodes, you can make your workflow quicker. So come over here to frame 48 and then with transform selected, come up to the keyframes here, left click on transform 
and take these keyframes, highlight them by left clicking and dragging, just bring them over right to frame 48, right? Where we lined up the playhead. So now we have first text message, second text message. We just need to change that text message a little bit. Come over to the background, select that, come up to blue, left click, and then come over to green. And we just change that to green. Come over to the text, highlight this, And we just change that to, I'm thinking steak and french fries. If I want the line spacing to be a little closer on that text, just come over to line spacing and bring that in just a little bit like that to make it a little bit tighter. And now if I select the merge, you can see I've got both text messages up. If I come back to the beginning, hit space bar to play. Easy does it, right? Okay, now let's come over here, left click and drag on the second one, command C on a Mac. Take the media out, drag that over a little bit, left click here, command V to paste, take this transform, pipe it in. We're just duplicating nodes. We're gonna drag these over a little bit to create some more space and bring that merge over as well. Now take the transform again, take it, bring it straight down like this, select background right here, come over to green, change that one to blue, hit okay. Come over to the text right here, let's change this text. Sounds good to me, right? Come over to the transform here, take the keyframes, and now we wanna be on keyframe 72. Okay, right here, come up to keyframes, select that, left click on this, bring these over. With them all highlighted, just drag here to 72. And now we have this. Super simple, super easy. So I love it in Fusion too. You just duplicate nodes, bring them over, and you have you know the ability to take those assets and recreate them really quickly and really easily. Now, if I was working properly, we would name this, you know, right click on this and rename this text message one, you know, right click on this one. Text message two, right click on this one text message three, you know, and make sure that we know what everything is. If I just go back to the edit tab though, real quick, we can play this and let's see what our work looks like hitting the space bar. First text, second text, and third text, really simple, really easy, okay? If I don't like the timing of that for any reason, come back to the Fusion tab, come back to the Transform 1-1 here. Let's say I just wanted to space this out a little bit more. The text messages are just a little too fast for me, right? So instead of 48, let's say that I want this to end on 72, we go to the 72nd one, hit keyframes, highlight these guys and left click and drag them over. Hit keyframes again, come to the next transform right here, come to keyframes. And I want that to space out a little further as well. Let's say I want that one to come in at 110. Take those guys with them all selected, drag them over. And then we go back to the edit tab again, just to see the timing, let it play. And see they're a little more spaced out now, right? And there you have it, very simple and very easy. All right, so that wraps it up for this video on how to create text message bubbles inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you feel like you learned something today or you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time.